Hey, what's up everybody? Rob Marzullo here, Ram Studio Comics. Welcome back. In today's video, I'm doing a quick speed painting of the Deadpool. The guy everybody loves to hate, or everybody loves to love, I don't know which one. But uh, yeah, so I, I saw another one of the movie art uh, posters or whatever images, and I was like, ah, I just, every time I see, the, see it, I'm so impressed. And uh, so I wanted to paint it, and I uh, figured it'd make for a good uh, demonstration on here. And then uh, you can also... Um, later get a uh, tutorial version on my gumroad so so this one I'm just kind of showing you the process and uh, I'll explain a little bit of it you know but if you want a more detailed version you can go to the other the other site so um, so yeah so I just really start you know just throwing in some basic shapes if you notice I didn't draw this out at all and I wanted to try that because I've been doing that more and more with my painting and uh, it's a little bit trickier at times because I'm so much of a line artist type guy you know I came up doing more line art but um, but I'm starting to feel more and more comfortable with it and basically the way it works is you just have to be more open to edits you know like you got to look at things and go okay how can I move this and then repaint um, you know more than trying to draw it out perfectly and then paint from that so I think that actually for painting it fits a little bit better uh, you don't see the interface here, but just so you know, it's done in Photoshop, and uh, you know, it's, it's. I know, I know, I've been doing a lot of stuff in Manga Studio lately, but um, I like both programs uh, for certain reasons, and th they both will pretty much do each other's job. Like I talk about a lot on this channel, so um, I just felt like doing another Photoshop one. I like to stay um, fresh in both of them or whatever because. Uh, I, I kind of have to use them both in certain parts of my work. Like uh, for my storyboards, it's almost predominantly all uh, Photoshop. So yeah, so at any rate, um, you know, I'm getting in here and just kind of mucking it up and moving things around. Um, I may, I'm even going to include some of the brushes that I used, uh, or any of the brushes that I used will be in the Gumroad course edition of this, or tutorial ed edition of this. Um, and there's only a few brushes. I try to keep it pretty basic. You know, I use my chalk brush that I'm pretty much addicted to. Um, I've got this new smudge brush I've been playing with that I like a lot. I call it Mr. Smudgy and that one works really well. It's basically just a hard round with just the right settings to kind of just move the paint around just enough and uh, and not make it look too overly blended. And then I create this texture here and I'm, I'm really a big fan of this effect. You basically create a repetitive texture it doesn't take very long at all, and then you you use that with multiply or overlay blends, or in this particular one I used uh, hard light, I think, looked a little bit better, and then I play with the opacity a bit. But I love dropping those textures in. Um, they add a lot more realism, especially to a shot like this, where, you know, if you look at the movie art, it's just, I mean, you know, it's like you're looking at a real person, you know, so it's basically got all those little uh, details and, and minutia in there in that work that that make it really look believable um, so that's kind of the the process when I do these is I'm really just kind of testing myself and trying to hone my ability like I put the image up on my other computer and I you know just stare at it and analyze it and then I adjust it over on the other computer and I, I don't get any anywhere near like the original you know and that's not really my my goal is to be um, like a exact replica uh, but it teaches me a lot about texturing, about studying light, about studying color. And, you know, like I'm the whole time I'm looking at this, I'm like, man, I'm always leaning towards really oversaturated red. And, you know, it's just one of my downfalls. And, and I tone it back by the end, but I, I think still not nearly enough. So, yeah, so at any rate, that's that's pretty much the premise of this particular video. I wanted to show you the art in a time lapse so that you could get an idea of uh, how it works and you know, if you want to check out the other one, cool. Uh, if not, there's always, you know, speed paintings on here and stuff like that. And I'll be doing more of this stuff. Um, so, yeah, that's uh, that's about it. And uh, I'm kind of getting to the end here. Oh, yeah, and then I go back through with the stipple brush. And that's another one that's really helpful. Uh, it gives that little bit of grit to everything. So, um, what else? Yeah, see in there I dropped the opacity. I put a blur and then I erase the layer over top that had the blur so that you see some of the uh, uh, crisp line work in the previous one. Yeah, and here we go. So this is the end. 
So yeah, that's it. So uh, at any rate, I thank you guys for stopping by. More on the way real soon. Keep drawing, keep having fun, and bye for now. <laughs>